Today is the solemnity of Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, or Christ the King in less intimidating words. Today is the last Sunday before Advent, before we begin to anticipate the coming of Christ at Christmas. In our gospel, we hear part of one of my favorite dialogues in all of Scripture. The discussion between Pontius Pilate and Jesus before Jesus' execution on Good Friday. Pilate is questioning Jesus and tries to discover the reality of who Jesus is. But Pilate is weary and he's lost in the midst of the squabble he's having with the crowds and the Jewish leaders. He is unsure of what to do. The most powerful man in the region is lost and has no answers. Jesus tells him that he is there to testify to the truth. The next line after the gospel, Pilate responds back by saying, What is truth? We can hear behind his question, What is the answer? What is the right thing to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm lost and I'm weary of these people. What should I do? What is truth? Have any of us ever thought that? Pilate, for all intents and purposes, was an incredibly successful and great man in earthly terms. He had filled his life with earthly pursuits and pleasures. He had probably sacrificed quite a bit to get to where he was. But after all of that, he's wondering if all of that was worth it. Can we relate to those thoughts and worries? That is the impact that Jesus has on people. As I was preparing for this homily, I was uh, looking up some resources, and this is one of my favorite resources. This is William Barclay's commentary on sacred scripture. William Barclay. Uh, I'm not trying to sell this or anything, uh, but it's really good, and it gives great insights and simple insights into sacred scripture. And he has a beautiful kind of take on this whole scene. So I recommend this. You don't have to buy it, but... I bought the, all of them from the New Testament, so they're worth it. But I wanted to just read one short line from, from him. When someone faces Jesus, it is not Jesus who is on trial, it is that person. Pilate may have treated many Jewish things with arrogant contempt as a Roman, but he did not treat Jesus in that way. We cannot help feeling that it is Jesus who is in control and Pilate who is bewildered and floundering in a situation which he cannot understand. The majesty of Jesus never shone more radiantly than in the hour when he was on trial before the world. Jesus in this scene is in no way a weak man. He is a powerful king. But as he tells Pilate, my kingdom is not of this world, but in the hearts of men. So this weekend, we are reminded to reevaluate our lives and reassess our relationship with God. So on Thursday, a couple days ago, we celebrated Thanksgiving, where we rejoice and thank God for his many blessings and for all of the gifts that he's given us. 
It reminds us to have an attitude of gratitude for the relationship we have with God. And then today, we celebrate this great feast of Christ the King, where we remind ourselves of the fact that Christ is the King of my life. And I must submit myself in a deeper way every day to him who is the ruler of my heart. But something gets in the middle of these two beautiful moments. Black Friday. (laughs) But I'm serious. The culture of earthly success, material possessions, and noise and getting stuff ruins these two beautiful moments that we could have with God. The evil head of the culture of materialism inserts itself into the conversation between you and God. We need to reevaluate who is the ruler of our lives. Is it the desire for success, for financial stability, acquiring cool new stuff, or busying ourselves with things of the world? Or is it Jesus Christ, the King who shows us the truth and draws us into him with a loving embrace? As we continue to celebrate this Mass, and as we prepare for Jesus' coming, at Christmas, we must look at ourselves and ask, who is my ruler? Is it empty, earthly success which Pilate sought after? Or is it the one who showed him and shook him out of complacency and showed him the truth? When we receive the Eucharist today, and respond with amen, which means I believe, we are telling the Lord that he is our Lord. He is our Lord and Savior and is the ruler of my heart. We need to live that and to believe it.